for anyone in the world who hasn't been exposed to antibiotics? Well, pretty much everyone in Western society has been exposed to antibiotics. I mean, you have to go to um, a culture, an ancient culture, where they're eating their native diet, where they're not exposed to um, all the processed foods, so the carbohydrates, the sugars that, that we have in our Western society. Eating a more traditional diet. Could it be, I wonder, that modern society is actually causing all our gut health issues? Potentially then, if I remove myself from these things, I wonder if I could positively impact my microbiome health, in particular, the diversity of the bugs in my gut. What if I were to go to one of these cultures, somewhere around the world, and have a look at their microbiomes, bring some samples back for you, but also see how my microbiome changes whilst I'm there. Would that be interesting? I think that would be amazing. It would be really exciting to see what happens to your microbiome during that time. Biggest question though, I suppose, is where do I go? Three days of travelling and we've arrived. We're deep in the Namibian bush in the Nai Nai Conservancy, far from any major civilization, but right in the heart of Sun territory. The Sun, commonly referred to as the Bushmen, are an ancient hunter-gatherer tribe who have lived in Southern Africa for 60,000 years, which makes them one of the first modern human societies. Genetically speaking, the Sun are often considered the true ancestors of today's human being, so from a gut and microbiome standpoint, they are the perfect participants for further study. It's been a long day, but we're finally here, and we're going to go meet everybody now. It's real bush territory. <laughs> Simco. Simco? Yeah. I'm Kale. Okay, welcome. Nice to meet you. Yeah. These are the crew. Yeah. <laughs> the Bushmen follow a, a traditional hunter-gathering lifestyle. They, you know, they, they work closely with the land. They know everything about the land and the environment around them. They've been pushed to uh, limited areas, I suppose. And then with the introduction of people from Europe, the same thing continued. And they're now in very remote areas just like this one here, uh, and in and around the Kalahari. But that is again now limited as well, so they're not found in too many places. You know, this organisation has got a conservancy here where they can actually work with the Bushmen and allow them to actually do what they were traditionally would do, uh, and in working with them to maintain that. For the next week, I'll be living as the sun do. No phone, no laptop, no luxuries, nope, nothing. At the end of the week, I'm going to test my microbiome to see how it changes whilst living the sun lifestyle. And to be honest, I don't really know what to expect. 